there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in storage right now, and I think HP is kind of in the middle of it, of course, with 3PAR. But yes. what are the things you're seeing? Well, uh, yeah, the industry is going through uh, a ton of change right now, right? Because um, Flash, for example, is a hugely disruptive change. It's you know a completely different sort of media and approach, and and uh, and I think we've we've got the recipe for mm -hmm. the affordability of Flash. And so I think uh, what's going on out there is folks are realizing if I can get Flash for the cost of disk, why wouldn't I check that out? And, you know, industry-wide, um, you know, I think folks are waking up to, you know, there's a fork in the road, there's a choice, and, and uh, you know, beginning to, uh, you know, push their data center much more aggressively to Flash. We know that that is uh, absolutely a freight train coming. Um, the other thing that's really interesting, really hot out there is um, call it software-defined storage, software-based storage, software-led storage, whatever you want to call it. But basically, enterprise-class storage that runs in a virtual machine. Um, you know, if you've got data, lots of data that you think you can cost-optimize, that is a really interesting and uh, cool approach uh, for more and more uh, of our customers. And what's, uh, what's cool about it? Well, first of all, you get all of these awesome features that you know, three or four years ago, you are having to buy hardware, physical storage systems, and you know, what we've, you know, we the industry have kind of done is said, wait, you've got hardware, it's called servers, with tons of CPU capacity, you've got how many cores now sitting inside that box with big capacity, and you know, we can take that storage controller software and tap those unused resources and fire up uh, a cluster of shared storage for virtualization, right? And you don't buy any new hardware, and you know what's not to like about that. The uh, and and the interesting thing with that is um, there's a lot of uh, discussion around convergence and hyperconvergence, um, buying kind of fixed um, increments of kind of compute and storage. Um, we've actually leveraged our software-defined storage capability into that, so you can kind of decide, hey, do I want to just drop software into my server infrastructure? Do I want to just buy it, you know, 100 VMs at a time in, in a fixed building block? And that whole discussion is another one that's just kind of taking, uh, you know, IT organizations so by storm. I would be curious about your perspective on hyperconvergence, mm -hmm. because, I mean, in, in the converged systems world, the converged system connects typically out to, to a, a SAN right. of some sort, right? And Theoretically, that's um, a storage solution. But now, with hyperconvergence, it's, you're talking about putting the storage in the converged in the system, right? In, in, well, and a converged system should have storage in it. Or well, I mean, that, that seems converged, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but hyperconverged is, you know, the thing, it's compute and storage side-by-side, -side, pre-integrated, and a big part of it is, um, we're, in fact, we're just shipping this month uh, our um, first product in this space, and the whole, you know, appeal of it is, plug it in, 15 minutes to provisioning your first VM. You know, it comes with you know the hypervisor and the, all the software. It's just all in a building block, and we have a lot of folks who they're moving pretty fast. They don't have a lot of staff to go kind of put stuff together, and this is like plug it in, turn it on, go. Um, and it's not how you might necessarily grow all of your apps all the time because there is a certain inefficiency in growing compute and storage at the same rate forever. Um, but for uh, you know for a lot of folks it's a way to get started. And if you've got a bridge to what I'd call a more flexible resource provisioning, if you can kind of mix that with you know VM based storage and replicate out to that and, and surround it with that perhaps. You know, you've got a you've got a quick way in, an affordable way to grow. You know, what's not to like, and it's uh, so. I think there's a very real benefit, but it's not the uh, the pill for everything that you know, you know, that ails you. It's you've got to kind of think about the whole data center architecture and plug it in where it fits. If you don't need a hyperconverged system, how does uh, what, what kind of other options has HP got that you've talked about here at the show? Um, so broadly at the show, I think uh, we've hit you know the flash topic um, 
uh, aggressively to help people understand just how to take advantage of the new media. A lot of different ways there, and uh, we've even brought um, block file and object access into uh, our flash optimized platform and for a lot of folks that's kind of one less thing to kind of have to go out and solve differently so that's uh, been you know really interesting for folks um, another thing about storage is um, you know folks love their storage platforms they hate uh, refreshing their storage platforms because moving data around is a, is a pain um, and we've uh, brought some new tools to bear um, uh, surrounding EMC VMAX to bring uh, data there directly to the three-part platform in a very simple way. So for folks who, you know, are, you know, maybe looking for a change uh, on their from their VMAX platform, especially to Flash, uh, we introduced that here at the show. We introduced um, uh, another uh, really cool way to protect your three-part base data with something called Flat Backup. It's actually built on three-part snapshots and uh, our StoreOne's backup. But from an admin perspective, they don't worry about any of that. It's driven through vCenter. It's, you know, if uh, my, my family uses uh, MacBooks at home and they know nothing about technology, but all of them back their stuff up religiously. Why? Because Time Machine is super simple. And this is fundamentally a time machine-like approach for three-part, just making it easy, no backup expertise required, no extra software, you just go. And that has really like opened a lot of folks' eyes to you know, how, to get, uh, you know, how to get the work done. So uh, you know, all of those have really driven you know, loads of conversations. Of course, the hyper-converged stuff that we just talked about, also folks are beating a path to that booth as well. It's been great, great show. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to talk yeah, to me again. Yeah, my pleasure, love it.